Hi everyone, it's Nathan and Grace and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are shopping in Newcastle today. We're actually just walking into Alden Square now. We're going to head to Pandora first because if you've watched our last video, you will know that I pre-ordered a necklace for Nathan to get engraved. So it's here in the shop and we're going to get it engraved. We're going to bring you with her and show you a bit of the process. For reference, this is a little view of how busy it is considering it's half term. To be honest, it's not as busy as I thought it would be for it being half term. It's yeah. Monday. I don't think it's that bad to be fair. Yeah, not at all. It was so busy in the Metro Centre. If you watched our last video, you literally couldn't get moved. But it's not actually as bad as I thought it would be. We are in Pandora now. They've got so many new bracelets and charms. Look at these ones with the pearls on. I am obsessed. Nathan, have you decided what you're writing on the charm yet? Can I tell you that? It's going to be a surprise. Ooh, it's a surprise. We are at the engraving station in Pandora. And Nathan has drawn about 50 hearts at the bottom. Oh, that one could be good. It is good, but I think I've came a tiny bit too far across, yeah. Are you bottom. sure? Mm, maybe a little bit. Honestly, he's drawn about 50 hearts. <laughs> You've got this, babe. Keep going. <laughs> Guys, the machine is engraving it. It is working. It's magic, and I'm so excited. <laughs> we have came into the fragrance shop because I am absolutely desperate to get the Nivea Sun perfume. It's gone viral on TikTok, so it's literally sold out everywhere. And it smells like the Nivea Sun cream, which is like the perfect holiday scent, but they don't have it in here. So we're going to keep searching. The woman suggested Phoenix, so maybe we'll try Phoenix or Boots, but it's literally sold out everywhere so Nivea if you're watching this video please send me the Nivea Sun perfume what are you looking at just looking at all the different aftershaves we've got so much Tom Ford on here so many I love Tom Ford aftershave maybe you need to treat us on for my birthday maybe if you're lucky <laughs> and apparently this one is unreal but is I've that never men's? smelled it yeah men's I think oh have a smell see if it's nice that is good, is it good? let me that smell that is really good Oh, that is good. <laughs> that is so good. Tom Ford aftershaves are actually the one. They're so good. So expensive though. Very expensive. Unless you're in duty free, you do get a lot of money off them actually. Yeah, you do. I've just spotted this display over here. And I don't know about anyone else, but presentation matters so much to it me. It does. And like, this could smell horrible, but it just <laughs> looks so nice. But just because the presentation's good, it could yeah. be 10 10. Like, you look at some other perfumes, and because the bottle's ugly, you don't want to buy it. Yeah, true. So, perfume companies, listen up to Nathan and Grace. <laughs> Make your displays as good as the new Hermes one. Hermes? Hermes? I don't know how to say it. Now it's time to actually smell it and see <laughs> if it's worth the hype. Let's see if it actually does smell nice. See if it's as good as the packaging. I don't like it. You don't like it? Let me smell. Nah. <laughs> it smells it's like... It's too strong. No, let us smell again. It lit... Oh, it's got a scent. Guys, come into the fragrance shop that and smell this. Nice. And comment down below what it smells like. Because it smells like something, but I can't put my finger on it. <laughs> so, as I mentioned before, I really want the Nivea Sun perfume, but they literally don't have it anywhere. So, I'm looking for, like, another scent that's kind of like sun cream, kind of like holiday vibes, just because I always want to smell like I'm on holiday. And that woman suggested the Burberry Goddess one, and I put it on, and it actually smells unreal. So, I'm going to leave it to settle throughout the day. See how I like it later on and then I'll let you know. So if anyone's had the Burberry Goddess perfume dip before, comment down below and let us know what you think of it. If anyone's a loyal follower of Nathan and Grace, you'll know that last September we came to Astrid and Mew and we got matching permanent bracelets. I've got mine on. There's mine. That's Nathan's. <laughs> and they are actually based in Newcastle inside of Phoenix. And their stand is huge now. It used to be just like one of yeah, these. Yeah, they've expanded. It's <laughs> massive now and you still get the engraved, well not engraving, <laughs> we've just had engraving and here it's the permanent bracelets and they are unreal. There's so many to choose from as well, yeah, isn't there? It must be getting popular now. Yeah, you got, which one did you get? Like the Belcher chain yeah, one? Yeah, like the Belcher chain style. Nathan got Belcher chain style and I got like the twisted rope one and they're so, so nice. Oh, here's us. Hey guys. Astrid and Muse jewelry is actually the nicest. I get all of my earrings from here. Look how unreal I love. I don't know about anyone else, but I've been seeing the shell jewellery trend absolutely everywhere. And this brand in Phoenix called Tutti & Co. They've got the shell earrings and the shell bracelets. I need this in my life. I might have to ask Nathan if he'll treat us to it. Not like he's already just treated us to my necklace, but... <gasps> Maybe I'll treat myself to it. Look how nice that is. I am obsessed. I'm not sure how many people know about this, but in Fennec, they resell second-hand designer handbags. And they're like, well, they're not a fraction of the price, but they're a lot cheaper. It's yeah, they are a lot cheaper. The handbag clinic, and they like take second-hand designer bags and they refurbish them. It literally looks brand new. Yeah, it does look brand new. This one's 1995 so, so expensive. So let's figure out, I'll search online how much this is actually meant to be, then see how much the difference yeah. is. But they literally have 
the pink yeah, Chanel. Yeah, I have so many. I am obsessed. I need this pink Chanel. It's unreal. Look at that. I have just Googled that bag and online on the Louis Vuitton website it is 2,400. So it's like 400-ish pounds cheaper. So it is discounted but not like hugely. We have found this little holiday section in Phoenix. They have so much holiday stuff and they have the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc perfume which is the one that Molly May raves about. Nathan, you need to get me this. That smells so good. It's perfect for holidays. Yeah. You might get it, Grace, if you're lucky. It's absolutely unreal. Oh, you could get us it for my birthday. That's Maybe. a good idea. We're in the lift because, Grace, where are we going? We are going to see the Jelly Cats in Phoenix. At the top floor, so let's go and see what they've got. I've accidentally pressed that we're going down Oh no! We need to go press three. Why did I press down? Look at where we are. Oh my god, they've got the earrings. Look. No way. <laughs> I need this for my feet. They have so many jelly cats up here. They've got the Ricky the Frog. <laughs> Neither we need these. Oh, look at this avocado bag. The cloud. The cactus. A oh, no way. I've never saw that one before. I am obsessed. I wonder if they have any of the new selection. Yeah, I really want the toilet roll one. Have you seen that on TikTok? Yeah, the, the toilet, toilet roll, roll looks so good. We need that one. I think it's sold out everywhere. This is a big jelly cat. Look at this little jelly cat golf ball. <laughs> that is so funny. They've got a tennis ball, shuttlecock, rugby ball, basketball, football. Literally so many to choose from. Look at the size. Whoa. Of the <laughs> that is massive. I need this in my life. How much is it? How much do you think it is, guess? A hundred pounds. 65? That isn't too bad I don't to think be it's fair. That bad. Look at the size of it. Yeah, that is big. Another thing I'm adding to the birthday list. Oh, this is going to be an expensive birthday it list. It is, and it's not even until September. And it's only April. I think I found the world's most expensive jelly cat. This is £750. <laughs> and I think the moon is as well. No, there was one last time that was 700 What one was that? Yeah, but that's still cheaper. This is 750 Oh, I thought you said 150 <laughs> No, 750 Oh my god, that's actually <laughs> Do you want that one? I still want it for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I want the rainbow. It sits on my head perfectly. It does sit on your head perfectly. But oh look what I've just spotted. I think this is the world's what? first ever sad <gasps> jelly cat. Oh my god. It's sad instead of happy. It's sad jelly cat. <laughs> I've that's never it. saw that before. And it's like a really like not very soft material. So maybe it's like angry jelly cat. It's an angry cloud. <laughs> Bad angry weather. Cloud. Guys, I just keep coming back to the pretzel. I don't actually think I can leave him behind. Nathan, I think he needs to come home with us. Wait for your birthday. No, I really want to. I want a bee. <laughs> a bee. We're not getting the bee, we're getting the pretzel. We thought that the moon over there was the most expensive, but one of the staff have just told us 1,000 British dragon. pounds for the dragon. That is the world's most expensive jelly cat that ever. That is the most expensive jelly cat. 1,000 British pounds as is. When I see the jelly cats that cost like £750 or £1,000, I'm like, nah, surely no one buys them. But the woman that works here has just told us that they actually sell a few, like regularly. People buy £1,000 jelly cats in here regularly. We are just walking down Northumberland Street. We're going to find somewhere to go for food because we are starving. Yeah, we're so hungry. And Fennec Window's not there anymore. Yeah, Fennec Window's only there at Christmas. Oh, wait. Normally there's like still mannequins yeah, and stuff in it, though. Still stuff there. What the hell? It's all like boarded up. What the hell? <laughs> For anyone who wants to see a little close-up of my necklace, here it is. That's Nathan's handwriting on. Oh, I think someone is stealing from TK Maxx. But that is the necklace there. I've put it on with my other hands, a hand one. These are both from Pandora and I am obsessed. We are heading into TK Maxx because on TikTok, I've seen loads of videos of they've got really cool stuff at the minute. So we're coming in to have a look. Let's see if we can find anything. Yeah, they've got like some cool designer stuff I've seen on TikTok. So let's see what I can get. Oh, there's loads of sun cream as well. Ooh, look, Nathan, this is actually a really good brand of sun cream. All in TK Maxx, as if. They've got all of the Dr. Paul Paul lip balms. What's over here? More sun stuff. Inky List, skincare, nip and fab. They've literally got so much, as if. Fun fact about 
me a few years ago maybe like when I had just left school I actually used to sing in Newcastle like that I would come busking so whenever I see buskers in town I always like to support so it's the best feeling when people come and watch it I literally remember when I used to do it we're still walking around in town looking for somewhere to eat but we've just saw this shop here it's called Gorms in the cell vintage streetwear and I've seen so many people posting about this on TikTok like they've got just I think it's just like secondhand vintage clothes maybe they've got loads of like Jordans in the corner I can see I think some is second hand but some might even be new I'm not sure maybe maybe we'll have to investigate we've came inside to have a little look an unpopular opinion but I absolutely love these green Yeezy oh, slides I do not like them. imagine horrible. these in Tenerife man they're lush they've got so many trainers they've got Jordan 4s Yeezys Jordan 1s Nike Dunks over there New Balance and they've even got their own brand joggers oh yeah there's loads of them as well the art on the wall in here is actually sick look at the little French Bulldogs oh my god <laughs> that looks like edgy as if that looks like Nathan's dog we have decided to come to Lola Jeans for some lunch so we'll show you what we end up getting oh it's raining on my camera no I think Lola Jeans are famous for their burgers because they've got so many on the menu so I'm gonna get the Cluck Norris and for start are the halloumi fries what are you getting i'm gonna go for where is it there's so much on the menu the korean chicken top with some of my main and i'm gonna share the halloumi with yeah you. we'll share the halloumi look at how many different burgers they have and this one has monster munch on it monster munch on a burger oh maybe i should try that one and there was one oh. with doritos somewhere down here doritos oh doritos God. monster munch oh that doritos crumbled <laughs> as is it it's probably nice as well it'll be unreal our food has just came I got the Cluck Norris chicken burger with triple cut chips. Oh my god, look how unreal these look. And what did you get? Crispy chicken tacos. They look, look amazing. Look at them. They look banging. And then, of course, we got some ketchup and mayo. Let's dig in. So, there's actually a Lola Jeans in Tymouth, which is near to where we live. And this is the one in the center of Newcastle. So, if you're in Newcastle, definitely come and check it out. We're literally just about to eat. And I am going to taste test the chunky chips because they're banging. They are so good. Oh my god, Nathan, you need to try these. We are just walking back through the centre of Newcastle. The monument is behind me <laughs> and we are so stuffed that I food literally can't even walk back to the car <laughs> that food was unreal i think the highlight for me was the cheeseburger fries yeah they were so good they were unreal you need to try lola jeans and get the cheeseburger fries if anyone's gonna go definitely if you go when you're in newcastle go for your food at lola jeans get the cheeseburger fries get uh, the tacos just get everything it was all 10 <laughs> 10 and the cocktails looked amazing but it's like a random monday and nathan's got the car so we didn't try any of them but we will next time no drink driving kids <laughs> do not drink drive me and nathan are having a race to see who can get to the car first i've gone like up the windy way and nathan's got up the stairs oh no i can see him i can see him on the stairs i need to run i need to run i think that's the wrong staircase it must be the next one have i beaten oh no I knew I would beat you. you beat us on the stairs. <laughs> stairs are always faster. And I was going all the way around the windy multi story. When we came here earlier, you literally couldn't get parked. Now there isn't a single car, literally, Nathan's is the only car left. We are now back in the car, so we thought we'd give you a little haul before I head home, and Nathan's gonna pass things out. Yeah, that's the first item. Dry shampoo. Well, this is all from Superdrug, by the way. I've got a new dry shampoo. What's Second next? Second item. Mitchum deodorant, the best deodorant. Third. <laughs> tissues. <laughs> this might be random, but everyone says when you run a marathon to carry tissues, so these are for the marathon. Not very exciting, I know. No, this is not a very exciting haul. <laughs> Cotton wool pads. And the final thing. <gasps> this is Nathan's. The face mask because the blinds in my room aren't black out and the sun just comes straight through the blinds in nathan's room are actually awful like they wake us up as soon as the sun rises so we got a little eye mask and it was only four pound from super drug so after about three hours in town we bought about four things so. oh no and the necklace oh yeah and that is good to be fair the necklace and the pandora that i got engraved i'm already wearing it i'll give you another little closer here it is it says love you forever from nathan so that was worth the trip it was worth the trip <laughs> i love it and that is the end of this week's video i hope you all enjoyed and nathan what have they got to do like comment and subscribe so you don't miss the next video see you next sunday bye, bye.